Hey guys, in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make this text effect and I've called it jungle text but I'm not quite sure uh, if the name is correct or suitable so if you know a better name then just leave a comment and maybe I will change the title to your name and let's start by clicking on file, new and create a new file with 800 by 600 pixels and click OK and I'm going to minimize this one so it's not in the way and now go to your text tool and use a foreground color of black and this is black and I'm using a font called Litos Pro Heavy but it's not a free font but any bold font will do and a size of 145 and I will type in my text jungle and I will center it uh, I'll not center it but put it a little bit more on top of the center no, like this and uh, that's fine and now go to your blend tool and set the mode to difference, that's all the way down and choose your gradient greens, in here it's a default GIMP gradient so you can easily find it and set the shape to radial and then start stroking like this and you need to stroke quite a few times until it sort of looks good and that's sort of up to your own judgment this one needs a bit of stroking, it needs to look sort of darkish and this is too light here and a little bit more here and I think this is fine so now uh, next step is go to your jungle layer here and click alpha to selection and now create a new layer and we're going to call this border and move this layer down till it's in the middle and now go to select grow and grow it by 5 pixels and click OK and now go to your bucket fill tool and make sure your foreground color is still black and just click on it to fill the border go back to your jungle layer and click on this icon here to duplicate the layer and on your top layer click in your layer dialog click on lock here lock the alpha channel now go back to your gradient tool, your blend tool and set the mode back to normal, that's all the way at the top and search for a gradient called metallic something and it's just a few below the greens and reverse it by ticking on here and set the shape back to linear and now stroke from about here to here and if you have trouble stroking straight then just press ctrl on your keyboard and you can stroke it straight down and now on your top jungle layer uh, right click and click on alpha to selection and go to select shrink and shrink by two pixels and click ok and now press delete on your keyboard and now go to select none and now go back to your border layer and go to script full layer effects bevel and emboss and if you don't have script full layer effect bevel and emboss then don't worry I have a video about it and I will post it as a video response so just watch it and you will know everything that you need to know to follow this tutorial and in bevel and emboss uh, set the style to pillow emboss and the rest at default and the direction should at default be already up and then just click OK and this is the result now go back to your border layer and again go to script full layer effects bevel and emboss and this time the styles should still be pillow emboss but the direction should be down and the rest should be default and click ok and this is the result and go back to your border layer once again and this time go to filters light and shadow and drop shadow and use the default settings and it's 8, 8, 15, black, opacity 80 but untick allow resizing and click OK and now in your layer dialog go to your background layer and now go back to your blend tool here and set your gradient back to green, that's up a bit, this one and make sure reverse is unticked and set the shape to linear and repeat to triangular wave and then stroke from about here to here and there you have your jungle text and I hope you liked this video and if you did then maybe you'd like to watch my other videos and subscribe 
Thank you for watching.